What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are finally going to be hooking up the welder to the 6000 XP. I mentioned it a few videos ago and some of you said you would be interested in seeing how the 6000 XP handles a welder. So this is my 180 amp MIG welder from Lincoln Electric. It's a good size welder, runs on a 30 amp 240 breaker. I picked up some nice thick material here so we should be able to run the welder on the maximum setting. XP has been doing great. We've been uh, a little conservative on the power. We've had a ton of storms and flooding going on so I've been saving power for that reason we're sitting around 75 percent state of charge and we're making just over a thousand watts a couple of you guys have been asking about the solar panels i repurposed the panels i had from the eg4 heat pump for the 6000 xp so it's definitely underpowered i'm just waiting on a delivery from signature solar on some new panels and we'll be upgrading the pergola panels they should be coming in tomorrow so for now we will uh, get the welder hooked up do a little test on the metal and see how it does well guys, ask and you shall receive. I heard a knock at the door while I was filming uh, the start of the welder video and lo and behold we have the new 415 watt Sirius panels from Signature Solar. So they just sent up 10 of these. I'm going to be upgrading the panels on the pergola where the heat pump sits. These are going to be tied into the 6000 XP and they should give me a lot more power around 2400 watts, a little over that. Um, yeah, going to be uh, pretty exciting to try these out. These are a new panel from Signature so check them out. I'll put the link below to them and as well they'll be in the next video. All right guys, we're all set to go. The bottle is on, the welder is running, you can hear the fan. We're set for kind of a medium power, medium wire speed here. Gonna try some smaller material first, save the big stuff for the end. So uh, yeah, I should mention I'm not a welder whatsoever. I bought this because I had a couple projects to do. I don't use this welder too often, so take it easy on me in the comments. We do also have the air conditioner running. I was gonna shut it off and just do the welder, but we're running at 12% of the 6000 XP's capacity, so we are going to add the welder into the mix and see how it does. Okay, well like I said, I'm not a welder, that didn't turn out too horribly, but uh, looks like the 6000 XP output got up to around 1500 watts per leg. Now that is with the garage heat pump running, that's a 12,000 BTU air conditioner, so that's pretty good. We were pulling right around 3000 watts total. Uh, I think I saw 66% capacity on the 6000 XP output, so I actually might have something still running in the house, I'll have to double check, but that did pretty good on the lighter stuff. I'm going to go ahead and get this big square stock lined up and we'll try to run a bead of weld down that. We're gonna be turning the settings all the way up, uh, at least almost all the way up. Yeah, we'll go to E and we'll put it around number eight wire speed and just see how that does. All right, well there's my ugly little weld. I did wire brush it just to get some of the carbon off of it. So uh, I thought I'd run a little bit of a longer bead, not all the way through, but just enough to let the XB kind of ramp up and see how much power we were using. It looks like it did put a pretty heavy load on this thing. I saw right around 5,000 watts and 85% of the output capacity. That is with a 12,000 BTU air conditioner running in the garage as well. So I'll pop the app up on screen. You can see the big spike in power. Overall handled it very well though for running a welder and a a, uh, an air conditioner that did pretty good pretty convenient to have my little welder plug just on my little load center panel here so yeah let me know what you think if there's any welders in the comments let me know if that's a good weld I'm pretty sure it's hideous but I could be wrong all right guys another test down for the 6000 XP handled that really well we are still making about a thousand watts from solar and we're sitting at 
76% state of charge. So by the end of the day, we should be getting pretty close to 90, 95%. I went back through the app on the air conditioner. It was pulling just shy of a thousand watts, about 900 watts. So the welder itself used right around 4,000 watts, which is a pretty heavy load. But if you are fully off grid with a 6,000 XP and the indoor power wall mount battery, you can definitely run a welder. So uh, that's, that's pretty cool. That's a pretty heavy load to put on something like this. I'm not really used to uh, the idea of running a whole welder on a battery and an inverter so that's pretty cool to see uh in the next video we are going to be getting these panels set up i really have no excuse now well, i thought i had some damage for a sec that's just dust but i've got a bunch of wood sitting here ready to uh make a little frame on the pergola i've got the panels now so all i need to do is get to it and we'll have around 2600 watts of input rather than the 1200 we have currently tied to the 6000 xp so that will make a big difference in our charging and uh, recovering the battery every day so once again, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If there's anything else you want to see me run on this thing, leave it in the comments. I'll try to do it for you. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.